Yo, look at this morning, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, grill is ready. Good morning, Lock and Load Squad. What's going on? Hope you guys are good. Hope everybody is doing good and keeping safe. So, yeah, the wild boar what we hunted up in Port Antonio, up in the Blue Mountains the other day. We're going to be lighting up the grill today. We are going to be throwing it on there. We're going to be doing some jerk chicken, Lock and Load style. And Grant. Um, he's going to be doing some cinnamon rolls from scratch and trust me these are the best cinnamon rolls I have ever had I'm gonna bring you guys step by step so you guys can try this recipe because it's excellent you see me so stick and stay guys it's gonna be a good Sunday bless up of course we have to say good morning to Charlie Charlie what's up man tell everybody hi tell everybody good morning Tell the lock and load squad good morning. Come on, come down, come here, come. Come on, you camera shy. Come here, come tell the squad good morning, come. <laughs> ah, jolly. Why is it, babes? Why is it, we are going to do some, some grilling today? Huh? Some wild boar today? Why is it about that? Wild boar, jerk chicken, right? Sound like a plan? All right. Alright guys, so you guys need to get this channel up to 20k subscribers, 20k. Alright, so like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already guys. Share it to your friends, let them subscribe because when we hit 20k subscribers, we are going to have a subscriber link up where we're going to bring down 4 subscribers. Right, and we're gonna bring them down to lock and load base. We are going to carry them fishing, hunting, just you name it, some epic stuff. You see me? Cooking up some stuff and us, it's gonna be epic. So come on guys, get it to 20K subscribers and let's do it, let's go. Check this out, look at this. Let's get a little sneak peek of that. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. It's been marinated from Wednesday. Today is Sunday. So look at that. Mm -mm -mm. She's going on the grill guys Right there Alright guys so we put the pork on the grill now So it's on the grill um, It was hard to do it with one hand So yeah that's why dad didn't see it So guess what it's going to be down on the skin It's going to get nice and crispy And then after that we're going to flip it over on the bone side So we're going to dehydr dehydrate the meat On the grill for about Call it about a half an hour And then after that we're going to put it into the shine pans Smell makes you realize why you're even on this side of the earth. <laughs> you know I mean? Why is it smell good? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we got the skin all crispy and crackled. And then now what we're gonna do is just cook it a little bit more on the bone side. And then after that, we're gonna take it off. And then we are going to put it in the shine pan. And then we're gonna cook it down for about four to five hours in some wine and some different sauces. So we're gonna rehydrate back the meat. So it's gonna be a good look, so stay tuned. Oh God, but can you smell it guys? Mm -mm -mm. It is, ooh. So just put a little red wine in there. Oh. Yeah man, around the corners, yeah. The corner. Yeah. So we're gonna put there, and put it on the next side. All right, that's good. That's good. All right. Right. Turn this one back on. Put this one on there. Put this one there. Like that guys. Oh, the juice is coming out. All 
right. Look at this, guys. Just check this. Just look at this. This has been marinating now for three days. You know, the jerk sauce. Lock and load style. All right, so we're going to put this on here now. Alright, so today we're going to make some famous cinnamon rolls. First we're going to use three quarter cup of warm milk. Warm to the touch, not too hot. Then you're going to add the sugar. One quarter cup. We're going to take a packet of quick rise yeast. If you don't have quick rise yeast, you can use other kinds of yeast. You might have to use a little less, a little bit more. Depending on what the instructions say. Spread that in. With this yeast, we don't have to let it sit to see if it's activating. Everything should be fine. So again, we're gonna take one quarter cup of melted butter. Put that in. We have one egg and one egg yolk. So now we're gonna mix all those together. You don't want to go too fast, we're going to splash it all over and have it just a little mix, get it all blended together. And see how the butter is incorporated into the mixture? Once that's done, then you're, you're finished. Now we're going to add in about three quarter teaspoon of salt into three cups of flour. Just give it a little bit of a stir. It's gonna get incorporated inside anyway. And then we slowly add the flour and we mix with the spoon. We just wanna get it somewhat incorporated. And once I'm finished mixing in this way, I'm gonna to move to using the handheld mixer with the uh, kneading hooks on it. Works a little bit better if you have a stand mixer, but I don't have a stand mixer. As it all starts to get incorporated, it gets a little bit harder to turn it, stir. You want it to be sticky, but you don't want it sticking to the bottom of the bowl. Just it gets a bit harder. This is when you take your red stripe break and have a nice cold red stripe, you know? Can't do no baking without a red stripe. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the mixer with the hooks and I'm gonna mix for eight minutes. You want to knead it up really nice and well. So if you take a look at this batter, it's a little bit sticky still, it's not coming away from the sides. So what that indicates is that we need to put a little bit more flour in. Let's incorporate some more, dry it up. Because you can see how it's already starting to get more cohesive, it's starting to come away from the edges. As you can see, now the dough with the extra flour is pulling away from the sides. That's exactly what we want. So we're just continuing kneading until we're finished our eight minutes of kneading. And I'm going to take it out of the bowl and then we're going to let it rise for about an hour and a half. All right, so we're now 
We've kneaded the dough for eight to 10 minutes. We'll put a little bit of oil in another bowl. This way, the dough is not gonna to stick to the bowl as it sits in here to rise. Leave the dough in there, and then we're going to cover it for about an hour, hour and a half, until it doubles in size. I'm going to place it in a warm spot, just over here, and leave it for an hour and a half. All right. Come on, you know. Yeah, man. Coming on, coming on. Alright, so let go this one now. Move this one right back. Bring this one down here. So that guys, so they're almost ready now to come off and go into the foil. And then it'll be good to go. All right. So, see guys, 80% done. We're gonna take it off now. Put them in another pan. Trust me, if you try this, what I'm doing, next time you do a barbecue, you will not be disappointed. Trust me. So they have the charnies on there. They're basically 80% cooked. And then we're just gonna wrap them now in the foil. So close back down this. Alright. Alright. So pull it up, 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 up. Alright. Tear it up. Alright, so we're gonna want two of those. Yep, that's good. Alright. Put it over the top of it. Just hold it. I'm gonna put four pieces. Two, three, and then we're gonna put four. So four pieces. This is all of that loveness, that nice marinade. So we'll put a little bit, but hold on, before we do that, let's just bring it up like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little bit in here, guys. All right. That's beautiful right there. You don't want to lock it up too much, you just lock it up like this so the juices don't roll out. Like that. And that's one. Alright guys, so now we're putting back the chicken on here. Four pieces in each foil. Alright, and that's going to stay there and cook for the rest of the way. And it's gonna never lose its juice and it's gonna be tender and delicious. Alright guys, so we have some fresh carrot juice that Marcia just made with rum cream, carrot, I don't know what else input in there, but trust me, bud. Mm. Nick, taste and tell me what I'm going with it. Taste good? Shot. 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 Alright. Okay, so let's see how we've done after an hour and a half or so. Oh yes, the dough is nicely doubled in size. So we're going to flour the work surface. 
Lots of flour. Just get it all spread out. Get the flour of the roller. And last but not least, I'm gonna flour my hands. What we want to do is just roll it out into a large rectangle. tear in the dough, you roll it up, no one's ever going to know. one cup brown sugar. We're going to use a couple of tablespoons of cinnamon. Jamaica, I like the island spice cinnamon. Don't have to worry if a little overspills. I like lots of cinnamon in my cinnamon rolls. We're done there and we're going to mix it all up. Sure the cinnamon and sugar are well integrated. Now we're going to sprinkle over the dough. What are you doing? Okay. I like to add a little twist to everything I do, so I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup in there too. And then we're going to roll it. Bacon is never neat. Okay, so there we have our roll. Just stretch it out a little bit, trying to even the size. Now I'm going to cut just off the ends here just to square it up a little nice. Uh, really nice and square. Ideally we want to get nine pieces out of this. So let's see what we do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that's going to work. So just cut it up. So we have our nine pieces. Gonna take a little bit more butter. We're gonna butter our pan. Some people like to use a piece of parchment paper on the bottom so that the uh, Cinnamon rolls won't stick to the bottom. 
but I'm going to turn them out of the pan about three to five minutes after they cook so there shouldn't be any sticking problem. So we're just going to arrange them around the pan. from here and we're going to let them rise again. See the juice is what it's in it's good oh man more oh man but can you smell it <laughs> all right so lock that baby up so them juices ain't going nowhere put it back over here all right give that another 10 minutes and good to go. Alright guys. Let's check what's going on in here. Oh look at that. Look at that. You see that guys? So this is a reason though why we do this because we got the char on it, right? But you don't want to dry out the chicken. So we're rehydrating it back into them juices. You see me? Lock our load style. So trust me, it's gonna be delicious. Alright guys, so it has been on the grill now for 4 hours, 4 hours, let us just take a little piece of here, for Steven to try, fall off the bone, where is it, right there, here you go Steve, dip there and grab it, blow on it, put it in your mouth, tell them on there on YouTube what it tastes like, <laughs> so, no words to say, sir. Let's just say, let's just eat. What do you say? Good. Tastes good. Oh, fucking awesome. You hear that, guys? So, we're just gonna make it simmer down now, and then afterwards, we're going to share it up and stuff like that. So, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm like, yo, we just turn back around and go back inside. I'm a fucking just go back inside, bro. And just like give him one some time, you know. And then when I'm coming, when I'm coming out, no, I start make like holy for noise and shit like that. Yeah, clang, 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 this water Yeah, dog, bro. That shit was. Sorry, I What's popping? Hey, guys. Hey, Rich. You good? Hey. What's happening? You alright? The pork almost finished, I know. Migrate, migrate. No, you know, say we do the chicken over there, so. We do the chicken over there, so we do so. We do it to them one time, because it takes six hours. Daddy. 
Perfection. Doing perfection. <laughs> to perfection. What's up, buddy? What's the deal? Yeah, what? Amen. Yeah. All right. Let's see how we turn out here. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. They raise up really nice. You see, I changed the pan a bit so they'd be really close in. But anyway, now we're going to put it in an oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Bake them all up. So there they are. Leave that, set that for 25 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're going to make the icing. So I put three quarters a cup powdered sugar. We're going to use four to six ounces cream cheese, three or four tablespoons of butter, and some vanilla. Best to soften your cream cheese before. Throw a little bit of vanilla in there. That's roughly a teaspoon. But I don't measure my vanilla. Now we mix it up and be ready for when the cinnamon rolls come out of the oven. Okay, looks like we're finished here. Oh, beautiful. Look at these things. Look at those cinnamon buns, man. Oh. Now we're gonna let them rest for about five minutes and then we put the icing on. He's already doing sauce. Hey, it's Chad, Stevie. Take these up here, but I take them before. Got it. I have to flip these cinnamon rolls, get them out of this pan onto a plate so that I can ice them. Pray now, pray. Pray we get released. Ah, oh, we got released. And now what we have to do? We gotta flip that back over. Voila. So now while it's hot, we're gonna put just icing on. And the icing gonna melt red as it Give this a few minutes, it's all going to just nicely melt inside. And we'll be done. See? Grand? Easy cheesy. Easy This piece. Grand? Tell me what I want to do. Hello. Blue, blue. This blue? Hot blue. Hello. <laughs> Grand. Tell me, tell me what's going on for that chicken right here. Wow, so juicy. You can see. 
Popcorn, man. That's good? Mm. All right. I'll make her. Rachel, come here. I'll call him. I'm pregnant. Ooh, she's... Taste that, Rachel, and tell him what's going on. Nice share with you. Taste good. good, eh? Call her, call her. Juicy, call her. not overcooked, perfect. Call her, come in. I, I, I didn't taste it properly. <laughs> call her, come, call her. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what I'm going for that now. Tell us if it's good to go. It's good. It's good. Tastes good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Wait until the pork ready. All right. Just put your head here. Move all that. Oh, you oh, left a good piece for me behind. Yeah. No, yeah, but just make that stay too long. Cut it. Turn. Yeah, please. Here now. Put it back in there. Oh, Lord. Eh? Where are you going to put it? Yeah, put it in there. Alright. Take it down. Alright, now. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. You feel like you're not missing what? Oh, hot. It's hot, it's hot. Rachel. Richard, you have a friend. friend. You have a friend, Richard. Uh, that oh, this is tough. It's hot, man. Hot. What the fuck? Yo, Nick, cooking and fine right off the bone, man. Get this Richard. More Richard, Chad. Come here, Mr. Richard. Take that time to taste that, man. And tell me what I want for that. Take your time, man. Take your time. Yeah, we have more heat up here. Take your time, man. Good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm. It's falling off the bone. Oh, it's falling right off the bone. Uncle Ryan? Oh, I think that's a good start. Put it in your lips, Tell me what I'm going to do. It's mighty fine. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Yeah, it's not going to do it. You know, it's fall off the bone, but it's not dry. It's really juicy. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, man. Tell me what I'm going to do. You need to come here and try this money. Six hours this pork has been on the grill for this morning. Zimmy. Mm. Amazing. This pork is so good. So <laughs> tender and juicy. Mm. Stay ahead of my What the pork? Yeah. Is that about you, F? Good. I can't even say it's good though. It's really nice. <laughs> That's perfect. Why slow down the boss? Where you go? Come on. Life is good. Yeah. Some some wild hog, fresh off the grill. Try this. Let's try this pork right here. Mm. How's it compared to Texas mm. pot? <laughs> On point. Good deal. They want it now. Bypass up. I think it's finished though. Mm. Turn the boat. Really Time to go. Tip out the fire, bud. Tip out the fire, you know? Is that it? Time to go? Yeah. Yeah? 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 Oh, the smoke part. Is it David? The smoke part? Yeah. Very nice. Demo part here. 
Is he the fish in there? <laughs> See? You got mm -hmm. the fish in there and everything. So it's good. I want to double dip, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. That's how his pork is. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Orgasmic. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm really good. 1952, and she came to Jamaica in 1953. So these are commemorative glasses. And it's strong. It's stronger than overproof rum. And give me half of that. The flavor is good. Half of that. Uh, half the shot glass, there. Yeah. No, can I have half of that? You want some water? <laughs> <laughs> The flavor gonna come out. The burger man. No arrow that has no arrow. No one feel. That's why I called Italian drunk robot. <laughs> Grant, oh, Grant, Grant. Ooh, let Rachel try. Put more it's eighty three percent alcohol. Put more in your chest, right? Let Rachel try. <laughs> <laughs> You tell me. You tell me. Sorry, right, I prefer that one over there. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Shouldn't be that much. Mm. Can a little bit. One go, no see. No man, wait. Hold on. <laughs> you have three seconds. You like the flavor though? Yeah, no, yeah, this is a Rachel and Dan. <laughs> no, it's a Rachel and Dan. This is a Rachel and Kim do nothing. What's up? Guess it's a Rachel and Roman, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Tell yeah, me yeah. Yeah. Bossy, you start yeah. drinking her now. Okay. You feel it like all right here. Yeah. 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 You're not trying to. Hey man, why well, look so rough? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm good. That's for her. Stop. Mm. Yeah, I go to the line there. Mush it up, normal boss. It's all in one in the No sitting. No checking. Tell me where I'm going. Make sure you open the seat properly. Here. Put on your seat belt. Here. Yeah. Knock you up. All right. Oh my God. Risky, look risky. I never see no one. When you're gonna start? What? Six months time. June. <laughs> June. <laughs> June. Brick, yeah. Okay, so, so Nick, who's the man at the table here? It's a little hot in here. No. Your women are drinking and you're not having a shot. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Is it higher than this or higher than What's my problem? Like 50 something? No, 60, 30. 60. Oh. Anyway, so. I don't know proper how way, much it is. I don't know. Like, that's probably diluted to the right strength. You can have a sip of that. That's a like if you went to the store and you buy it. Yeah, that's how you buy it. But I bring it down concentrated because the Jamaican like it that way. <laughs> they want that. No way. My hand. <laughs> yeah, they warm you up, that's for sure. Don't take a lot. That's what Canadians drink. Eh? That's what Canadians drink. Yeah. Italian. Oh. Yeah, my my yeah. family, my wife's family are Italians. Yeah, can I oh. have a little and you make you make wine, and the leftover from the wine, you know, the skins of the grape and the little stems that were part of the pressing, you know. You take that material and you put hot water that you boil up and some sugar and you pour that into this mixture of grape skins and leftover mm -hmm. twigs and what have you. You stir it up and you close it up and let that ferment. And then oh, after it ferments, you distill it. How long is fermentation? fermentation? About three weeks. Okay. And then you distill it and then you distill it again. With the water and they, what they do is they put this in their coffee all the time wow. because I don't know what it is. Remember, they don't drink coffee. Well, I mean, if, if I 
Yeah. 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 Ye
Try to get a nice face, a nice fork. Grand Tab, yeah, they get it. Yeah, I can't um, believe I, I must have started this in 2018. Yeah, I started this in 2018. Okay. And I run away. I like to see somebody use that kind of one. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> Are you there, Honey? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And they should get a sample. Thank you. This is the first time I got all the bread put in in front of you. Miss <laughs> it. No competition. Rachel, how many competitions? Is it, Cheryl, you should look Rachel. like that on the front. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Yeah, Nine I remember that. Yeah. I remember it. The yeah. cinnamon roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm just looking for another Good. one here. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. Mm -hmm. Tell me what one mm -hmm. for the cinnamon roll. Let me know. I started, I did renovation, and this was a house we had in Canada. How long did you do it? Cinnamon roll like that? Do do uh, did you swipe it? I don't want the whole one. To the, Which? Uh, to the left. Swipe to the left. Let's give me one of it down. This way? Okay. You'll see. Mm. Oh, this is nice. This and you redid it. Mm. Love the oh, garden. It's warm and nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Unfortunately, Four. I can't show you the before. The before pictures are really Four. bad. This is the house in Canada. 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 Yeah. Oh, can, nice. Oh, this nice. Good. <coughs> good heaven and not bought. Love this yeah. bench. Um, you can tell my kitchen first. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's the heart of the home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Is that the yeah, the yeah. You see that table was made out of barn wood from my father-in-law's barn. Mm. That's so soft. Nice. There's 24 feet of camera space on the one side. Like heaven and box. Mm -hmm. And then the yeah, island. Wood. It's good. And it was... It's amazing. It's <laughs> even not Christian, though. <laughs> <laughs> when you are here, yeah. in Jamaica, you... Melson. 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 I have one... It's so good. I, I, you know, I wait to block my time because I want to see what's happening. Win, win. But I, so I have to move out for one week. Cinnamon week. roll. Okay. Here until April. One week I have to move out, so I have rented that. This is cinnamon studio. roll. You must have awesome this reviews. This is cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Nick, where yeah, is you it? You must have good reviews. Sorry. But I have good. Yeah, no. Mostly all awesome. Everything is good. Cool. I never like yeah. to do the same thing all the time. I don't follow recipes. <laughs> no, no, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give some time? What up? Mm. Learn. Hmm? We're not coming over. What? We're not coming over again. Why? Why are you doing that? How do I search yeah. on here? That's what sanitizer. No. No, 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 You know, Richard puts normal dancing. What are you doing to us? And Ryan, Ryan, no, I'm drinking none of them proud of him. Yeah, man, you know. Mm. Doing your best. Doing your best. Do Till best June. Best. Till June. When you get June, downhill from the night. Not till June. Not till June. Tell me something. Take a purge. Oh, a purge from the alcohol. Yeah. Oh. Is that after New Year's Eve night? Yes, it was. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can relate to that. No one is dead down. That's good. Nobody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like. If Somebody like might have a 40 gallon like water heater, but no one has 80 <laughs> gallons of hot water, which is right. And when you mix the hot water with Uncle Ren, you get probably 100 and 60 gallons. You double. And then, you're going to eat. 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 Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We called this a night after that. We put down the cameras. We just sat down, chilled with each other, you know, and that's what it's all about, you know, spending quality time with true friends and family. So that's all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share. One love guys. Bless upon yourself and take care. We're out.